what I'm trying to shine you in on right here is this right here is the slowest feed rate that I can get with the gearing set up on this quick change gearbox. This is my carriage feeds and you'll see that it is basically four thousandths and two tenths. So it's uh it's not a great feed rate. I just cut this test piece right here. And if I can take my fingernail. I don't know if you can pick that up. If the camera's picking that up. It's a very fine thread. It's not a terrible finish. If you're machining some parts. It's not so horrible that I couldn't work with it. In the things that I do but it is a pretty bad finish. I wonder how we can fix that. What I have is a 24 tooth gear. I watched a YouTube video. Um, I'll put a link to that video down in the description. Um, I can't remember the right now. I can't remember the uh, the guy's channel I think it's called uh, craftsman I'm not positive I, I'll link it in the in the description this 24 tooth gear is going to change my feed rate and essentially cut that four thousandths and two tenths to two thousandths and one tenth now that comes with some essential changes to our quick change gearbox and we'll go over those in here in the gearbox on a lathe without a quick change gearbox this is where you'd put your change gears to change your speeds and feeds for threading for just machine simple machining what we're going to do is we're going to remove this gear right here and we're going to put the 24 tooth gear on the back side here and we're going to move one of these 48 tooth gears up to this position and move this gear out so essentially we're going to change a little bit of gearing it's going to slow the feed rate down by putting a larger gear here the same gear here it's going to slow the feed rate down quite a bit and that will enable us to get a finer feed on our carriage what that does for this specific chart is if i want to cut a 20 tooth gear normally right now i would be on lever b or position b and move this lever to this third position position c or position whatever yeah third position here with this new gearing system because we are cutting it in half that means to we're going to have to double whatever numbers we see here so if i want to cut a 20 tooth gear now with the change I'll have to put it on position A with the back gear out and position 3. That turns that 10 into a 20. We'll go over that. I'll show you the difference. Let's get started changing some gears out. So this is extremely simple. Uh, the way that this is set up, these nuts right here are on a bushing, holding a washer against that bushing. The gears are allowed to move in there. The nuts move pretty simple. I can take the gear, slide it up and out, and it's got a, a squared notch here, and then the gears can be removed. So to remove these, I wanna make sure that I keep the right bushings, hardware with the gears. Small gear is gonna go left, big gear is gonna go right, bushing. This is a spacer. I had to buy the spacer off the internet.
the new gear set it off here to the side but we need to remove one of these Put this hardware here okay in order to remove one of these gears you got to be really gentle with this uh, Zamac gears they will crack so I'm simply going to I'm going to go the other direction. There it goes. Just want enough for that one gear to come off of there. There we are. One gear off. Okay. These parts here, these inner bushings, these inner races with the two keyways they are interchangeable what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to put the 24 tooth gear on this um, piece this one's got a little bit of distortion to it so I think I have to push that down and put it on the other side I can tell that at some point somewhere at some point somewhere someone took a screwdriver to that to try to get it out and it distorted it a little bit that's okay this side works pretty freely these are a uh, machine fit tight fit I like the tolerance the this is a old leather mallet this thing is probably older than my dad was uh, my dad passed away at the age of 79. He would have been 80 years old tomorrow. What I'm doing right here is I have a just a business card in the gears and it set the spacing between this gear and this gear I need to do the exact same thing with these two gears and see if the business card doesn't want to go any further so it's a little too tight Business card seems to be right about a good thickness for the spacing. There we go. Get it in. Tighten it down. Tighten it back out. And that should help tremendously with the noise and we've got they engage as soon as they start to turn but it's some room clearance you remember we had uh, noise you can hear the noise let's see what we can do oh much better Come in, we'll touch off, right there, we'll come in 20, 40, uh, let's just do a total of 50 thousandths off the diameter, see what happens. Now it's moving much slower. finish than the original way better finish than the original 
to demonstrate what I was talking about with the change in the threading per inch, the threads per inch, I'm going to go ahead and set this machine up to do the, it, this is just under three quarter, this piece is not going to matter, all we're going to do is just do a, a simple pass to show you, I'm going to set this up to be uh, 10 threads per inch, uh, because my change, my uh, back gear is out already, I don't want to go through all the little steps of putting it in right now, so we're going to do, we're going to set it on 10 threads per inch, and the actual output will be 20 threads per inch. So I need to set it on A, move it to A, set it up, and I'm going to bring it to position, bring this lever to position 3. This one's a little trickier in getting in place. There we go, position 3. So now our feed is set up to 10 threads per inch. I want to slow that spindle speed way down. We're on, currently we're at 685. Um, we're at 685 RPM. We're going to slow it down. I, I think I'm going to bring it down to 164 RPM just so we can see the, the pass happen. So that's done down here. You might have seen my last video where I made this awesome handle. Uh, open this cabinet. Starting it down. That should slow that RPM way down. Let's get busy. Okay, just want to come in until I touch off. There it is, right there. I'm only going to come in about five thousandths from there. And just do a scratch. And we are at 20 threads per inch right on. Even though this is set to 10 threads per inch, changing that gear doubled our threads per inch range when it was time to cut so thanks for watching